All right, good morning. This is the Fantasy Sports Boss. So Trevor Lawrence and the Jacksonville Jaguars uh, clinch the AFC South. They defeat the Tennessee Titans. Uh, late defensive stand, uh, but the bigger story is Trevor Lawrence is in the postseason for the first time uh, in his two-year uh, two NFL career. And for me, uh, th this is really good for the NFL. Um, you, the NFL uh, having Trevor Lawrence in the postseason is a really, really good thing because uh, it speaks to the ability, the the extremely high-end ability that Trevor Lawrence has. And I've spoken many, many times uh, about how I think Trevor Lawrence, uh, I graded him personally as the best quarterback prospect since Andrew Luck. I think he's going, just now starting to scratch the surface of how good of a player he can be. He's a dual threat guy. He's durable. He's tough. He hasn't missed a start in two years. Uh, he's just he's he's got leadership qualities. He's calm. He's got everything you want. He can run. He can throw. He's got a cannon. He's got everything you want for a franchise quarterback. And he's coming, folks. He is absolutely coming. And he's going to be here for a long time as a top quarterback in the NFL and a top fantasy football quarterback. So next season, uh, 2023 fantasy football season, I want Trevor Lawrence on all of my teams. I've spoken many times about how I want a dual threat quarterback. Trevor Lawrence fits that bill, 291 rushing yards this season. Not a Justin Fields, but he is an accomplished passer as well when you combine the two together. Uh, also, the value that he brings, he's not going to be drafted as high as a Pat Mahomes or a Josh Allen or a Jalen Hurts or even a Joe Burrow or a Lamar Jackson. Uh, but you can make the case that Trevor Lawrence has quite possibly the best uh, or, or top five best uh, offensive supporting cast uh, for next season. He's going to get Calvin Ridley off of suspension, and we all know Calvin, Calvin Ridley is a wide receiver one. He's got Christian Kirk, who is a top wide receiver two. Zay Jones, who at times was playing like a wide receiver one. He had some ridiculously uh, smash weeks. Zay Jones is a very strong wide receiver three. And then you have Travis Etienne, his old teammate from Clemson, who is a, a, the definition of an explosive player. He's only going to be better in his second season. I know it's his third season technically, but he didn't play as a rookie. Um, I, I think I think Etienne is going to be fantastic next season. Uh, explosive runner, underutilized as a receiver. If they use him more as a receiver next season, look out. And then Evan Engram, who had a monstrous season at tight end, is a free agent. He could cash in, but I think, you know, for him, knowing coming from a Giants team that was horrible when he was there, now he's on an ascending Jacksonville team. It would be foolish for Engram not to uh, re-sign with the Jaguars. I think he will re-sign. This team is stacked offensively. Trevor Lawrence is going to go nuts. Looking at his numbers now from this season, so he completed 66.3% of his passes. Excellent. 4,113 yards, um, 25 touchdowns. Eight interceptions. So, you know, the, the TD interception rate was good. You know, next season, certainly, I do think 30 touchdown passes is absolutely in play here. He ran for 291 yards as well. Um, just fantastic production from Lawrence. Of course, had to deal with the uh, Urban Meyer distractions last season. Now, in terms of his fantasy football season, uh, you know, there was there were definitely peaks and values. There's no doubt about it. He started the season very strong, uh, 15, 22, and 31 fantasy points his first few weeks. Went through a lull in weeks four and five with only nine and then 10 fantasy points. But then from week six on, he was generally very good. 26 points, 18, uh, eight of down week in week eight, but then rebounded to 18 points. Uh, in week nine, 24, 30, 18, 39 in week 14, 34 in week 15. So Trevor Lawrence, the final week of the, uh, uh, excuse me, the first two rounds of the fantasy football playoffs, he was unbelievable. Now, the championship game, only four points, but there was nothing to play for in that game. And I had done a separate video saying, be careful playing Jacksonville Jaguar players in week uh, 17 because against Houston, they had nothing to play for. And uh, they wound up taking a seat in the second half after blowing them out. But that that all said, Trevor Lawrence, who I, I think is just an unbelievable talent, is going to be a major, major, major player in fantasy football next season. So you know, we've, we I already did the uh, the quarterback, the, the early quarterback look for next season in terms of rankings. You know, like I said, Mahomes, Allen Hurts, that's like the top tier. They're going to be going ahead of him. Then you have um, Lamar Jackson. Uh, Joe Burrow, those guys are definitely going to go ahead of him. And then I think when you get to that like six spot, number six spot, I think that's when you could start having a conversation about Trevor Lawrence. You know, I mean, Justin Fields is going to be in that in that realm. Uh, I think Deshaun Watson is going to be much better. Kyler Murray is there. I don't like Kyler Murray personally. You know that he wears down in the second half of the season. He always winds up getting hurt in the second half of the season. So I want no shares of Kyler Murray next season. And I think he's just a weak-minded player. Uh, when the going gets tough, he just he just 
you know, tucks and runs, unlike a Joe Burrow, unlike a Trevor Lawrence. And here's the thing, too, with Trevor Lawrence is he's made every start in college. He's made uh, non-COVID. He's made every start in the NFL. Uh, he's just been unbelievable uh, in terms of durability. You know, he's been nicked up this season, but he's out there every week. He's playing. Uh, I think Trevor Lawrence, if you if you wait just a little bit to draft that uh, dual threat quarterback, I think Trevor Lawrence is your guy. All right, hit that subscribe, hit that notification button. More videos on the way. Live stream today at 1130. Make sure you tune in because I'm going to reveal my uh, all-pro fantasy team.